Today is the day you will lose fat. Come see Dr. T at NJ Diet. Easiest diet I've ever done. It's changed my life. Come see Dr. T. Using blood work and DNA testing. 1-855-5-NJ-DIET and NJDiet.com. Change your life in only 40 days with NJ Diet. Oh, yeah. So Brandon Lang joined us before the Super Bowl. I've been friends with Brandon for a long, long time. He's a great guy. And, of course, the inspiration behind the Matthew McConaughey, McConaughey character, I should say, in the great movie with Al Pacino, Two for the Money. He is the greatest living handicapper. Check him out every day at BrandonLang.com. And I think he's now doing a podcast with my buddy Scott Seidenberg from NBC Sports. I think he is. I'm not sure if that's the sharp edge on the Believe Podcast Network or not. Either way, whether it's the Super Bowl, March Madness, or the Stanley Cup playoffs, the guy to talk to is Brandon Lang. He's back on the Bernie and Sid on the Morning Show here in New York City. Good morning, Brandon. My man, my man, my man. What's happening, buddy? How you doing? So are you doing a podcast with Scott Seidenberg? Is that... Yeah, it's great. It's unbelievable. He's a uh, great guy, Bernie. He's a kid from NBC Sports. We saw a lot of him in Atlanta. He sat behind us oh, yes. with Jack yes, Silver. Yes. So when he and loves you, kid. Brandon, so and, and you're great at this, so that's got to be a really, really, really good podcast. So let's start all, with... I'm, I'm really disappointed that... What? Were you in Atlanta for the Super Bowl? Not for the game. We, we, went, we came in Wednesday night. We did a couple of shows, and we got out by Saturday morning. Okay. No partying, All so. Right. Yeah, if we, if we would have partied, I would have called you. You know that, buddy. Okay. Yeah, have my wife and my son. Yeah. So uh, let me ask you, this uh, This game yep. tonight is a big interest here in New York because we're big St. John's fans here. The play-in game, interesting, Chris Mullen versus Bobby Hurley. How about that, Brandon? St. John's, Arizona State. St. John's a small underdog tonight. Does that game pique your interest? You know, it did at a pick em. Now it's Arizona State minus two, actually. So you got a little Arizona State money right now. It's just St. John's has been so inconsistent all year long. You just you, you don't know what you're going to get. As pawns go, they go. Uh, he had 121 turnovers when they played at Duke and consequently got blown out. If he's got his head screwed on straight, um, they can be in it and they can win it. But if Pons doesn't play well, this Arizona State team's legit. They really are. I, I went and watched them in person play Oregon in the semis last Friday night here in Vegas. Was really impressed with just not only that that game, but but Oregon as well. We'll talk more about the Ducks here in a minute. Pons has got to go off. If Pons doesn't go off, they don't got a shot. You're right. He's got to control the game, push the pace. He's got to be the playmaker. Now we know St. John's lost to uh, Arizona. What was it last December? They lost, uh, I think, by 12, 12 points or yeah. something. So uh, it's not literally looking that great for him. But as you say, if he's on his game, we're looking good uh, with St. John's. Of course, we're rooting for St. John's here. Now, let me ask you this, Brandon. I'm picking Gonzaga to go all the way. I know they lost to St. Mary's in their own conference. But what do you think of that pick? Is that stupid? Not at all. Not at all. Sometimes when you're Gonzaga and you get to that point in your season, you just you just want to get to the tournament. And they knew they had a number one seed locked up, which they shouldn't have because Michigan State's the one that got robbed. They should have got the one seed, not Gonzaga, but it is what it is. Right. Um, you're 100% correct. They, they should get to the Final Four. I have them right there with you. Uh, I saw them right. also play. I was at the St. Mary's game. Uh, I actually have started to do Bikram hot yoga and the day before <laughs> here in Vegas. Elton Brand was doing it right next to me. There's about 35 people in the nice. studio. I got, Elton, I got Elton Brand doing Bikram Hot Yoga right next to me. We actually talked after we were done. He left me a ticket. I went and watched St. Mary's play Gonzaga, and it just looked like Gonzaga was disinterested. And I think they'll be focused, and I think that they'll be ready to roll. I'm with you, Gonzaga. Right. The West. There you go. Elton Brand, of course, a great player at Duke, and now doing a great job running the Philadelphia 76ers. Brandon Lang, BrandonLang.com. The podcast is the sharp edge. He's a phenomenal handicapper and really a great guy, one of my favorite people. Hey, Brandon, uh, you mentioned Oregon. They really closed out the season strong. They were just okay for most of the year inside that Pac-12. But we thought for the most part only Washington was going to go for most of the year. But the Ducks look like a very dangerous team to me. Your thoughts? They're healthy for the first time. And like I said, I watched them play the semifinal last Friday night against Arizona State. I went back the next day, watched the championship game against Washington. Oregon was playing their fourth game in four days, and they looked like they were showing up for a Saturday morning pickup game at the local gym. They had more energy. They, they played with passion. They're healthy for the first time all year. They got a guard in Pritchard who was on their Final Four team as a freshman. He's leading the way. 
That's my first number one seed to go down, Virginia in the Sweet 16. I have Oregon. Oh. Last year I called Loyola Chicago to the Final Four and looked like a genius as an 11 seed. This year I'm calling for the Ducks, a 12 seed, to crash the Final Four party. Good wow. team. There very, you go. A, a very sound pick if you ask me. Uh, listen, a fan, another fan favorite, Villanova, Brandon Lang. They, I know they're only a 16, but they won the Big East. Can they go all the way? No. They got, you know, to lose three guys to the NBA in the first round. You're going to have a good year. Kudos to winning the Big East, but, but they're going to run into a buzz on Tennessee in the in the Sweet 16 that's going to send them home. Kudos to Jay Wright and the season he had in the rebuilding year, but Tennessee's going to have too much for them in the Sweet 16. Uh, yeah, some right. people thought, uh, like we had set Davis on a couple of days ago, and I'm with you. I thought Michigan State, they won the regular season. They won the Big Ten Conference. They beat Michigan three times. I have no idea with that schedule, how they're not a one seed ahead of Gonzaga. Set Davis is making the argument for Tennessee. And he thinks the Volunteers, and they also lost in their conference, Tony. He thinks uh, they're the team maybe to beat in this year's tournament. Well, I've always said that when you got five guys in Kansas City doing the brackets that wear black rim glasses and white <laughs> dress shirts cut off at the sleeves with five pins tucked into the pocket, these yeah. are guys that I'm taking into the penthouse club in New York with me in the champagne room. Let's make sure we're clear on that, boys, okay? <laughs> so you're never going to get the brackets the way you're supposed to get the brackets, but at the end of the day, Michigan State was the only team to do exactly what Sid said, regular season, Big Ten tournament champions. And then not only do you reward them with a two seed, but you put them in the overall number one seeds bracket, which is fine because when Duke and Michigan State play, that's where Duke's going down. Tom Izzo finally gets Coach K. The wow. Michigan State team's got three bangers. They got Tillman, Goins, and Ward. Ward was their starting center. He's 6'11. He's coming off the bench now. When Ward got hurt, he put Tillman in the lineup. He's 6'11, and Goins is 6'11, and they are bangers. Wow. And they will not hesitate to bang Williamson around. All game long. Damn. There's something special about this Michigan State team. I have an affiliation with them, of course. Matt McQuaid, their guard. I played high school basketball with his dad, Rob. I actually inducted his dad into the Midland High School Hall of Fame back in our hometown of Midland, Michigan. And Matt and I, in his freshman year, played a game of horse at our high school gym. I had him <laughs> on the ropes, H-R-S-H-O-R. <laughs> I, called a co- I called a college bank, a uh, college three bank. Matt winked at me. Followed me up and made it and put me away. It lasted about 25 minutes. It awesome. was awesome. That baby. is, a, that is awesome, baby. All right, listen, 20 seconds to go. we got to run here, yep. Brandon. I don't want you to give away too much because I know people check out the service. And No, I got you. I got you. said Northeastern plus eight over Kansas outright. Bill Self is out at Kansas like a fat girl in dodgeball. That's your big <laughs> nugget. That's your big story. <laughs> you know, Northeastern plus the eight. Oregon to the final four. Keep an eye on Yale, the small boys, and Cal Irvine. The number 13 seed beats Kansas State. BrandonLang.com and, of course, the sharp edge. You're really terrific, man. Excellent job. Keep coming back, Brandon. Thank you so much. Enjoy the basketball. Got it, Sid. Thanks, babe. All right. Brandon Lang, we'll take a short break. We're wrapping up the Bernie and Sid show right after these words. Bernie and Sid in the morning.